What's up guys and gals, this is Dom with you today from the D22 Responses channel and this is going to be another Windows Live Movie Maker tutorial video. Now, a lot of complaints that I've been getting from my last video that I made about Windows Live Movie Maker was I went too fast. I didn't explain all of the steps in detail of how to use Windows Live Movie Maker to it, so this is going to be this is going to be one of the longer videos that I've ever done about Windows Live Movie Maker. So we're going to just open it right now. Now, this is the last video that I'm going to make about this because I'm going to try my best to explain to you that this software is limited. I'm not being mean here. This is just limited to only basic editing. There's no timeline function on this thing. There's none of that. It doesn't have all the features like Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects. So, if you give me a comment saying that you missed this, just go back to a certain point in the video and I talk about it there. So we're going to just review all this again. This is your Home tab, where it has your paste, cut, copy, when you basically import or save clips or copy something from your clipboard to your clip or some, something from your computer to your clipboard and then you can just paste it in here. This is where you go to add videos and photos. So when you click here, it will take you to your video menu. So you can add a picture, and then you do the same for a video. So you go and scroll through the menu, and then you just look for the video that you want. So we're just gonna pick a vlog I did as an example. Now, pictures only show as just a few seconds and you can scroll it back here and then you can press the S key you press, or you can just right click and then you can just go select all and then it selects everything here what you do is you go cut it cuts only the whole picture out oh, it doesn't cut out a certain part it just cuts everything out I mean this is limited. You can zoom in on some points, but it doesn't really zoom in. It the, when you put a picture in, it only gives you 5 seconds to work with. I'll show you again. Let's put in another another picture as an example. With pictures, you only have 5 seconds of time to use. So that is basically how you import pictures into your project. So what you do next is you go to the edit option and then you can go up here and set the duration. You can't split photos. You can't trim photos. You can't set a start point. You can't set an end point to photos. You can't do that with photos. You can only do it with videos. So we're going to just add a video again and then we are going to show you what it actually does. We're going to use my custom made iWay intro as an example. Now the song was made by my friend Zevotown and I did the effects and also a friend of mine did a topography intro so here's what it sounds like. <laughs> So, we've played our video. It's about 10 seconds long. We'll just delete our picture. So, 22 seconds it has. So, what you can do is, if you want to go to a certain part, you can go to a certain part here, and then you press Edit, and then it'll allow you to split it. So, if you press Split here, you just split the video in a few parts. And then you can also set a start point, and you can also set an end point. And then you can also set Fade In. You can set a slow fade in, and then you can go fast fade out. So basically, when you go here, it fades out at the end. Because we just split up the first portion here. Let's just delete that. Because we split up the first portion of the video. 
we only have three seconds because we just recently split it. So we're going to just undo all that we did. And we ha have everything together again. Like I said, you can't split photos. You can set the duration of photos, but you can't chop it up. Unless you have more than one photo, let's just let's just do that as an example. We're going to add more photos. So pictures, let's go cat, banana, this, this, this. So for each of these, it's about five seconds apiece. So five, and then another five, and then so on, and so on, and so on. But what you can do here is you can set the duration to 15 seconds. That's how long you can set the photos for. Let's say you wanted to set this photo for just one second. So it plays it like that, and then it goes for the five seconds here. And then you can set the duration for each of them. So let's say there's like 12 here, and then there's one here. So you set the length of your photos however you want. And then, once you do that, that's your collage. So basically, we've set the photos with different lengths. So if, let's say if you're doing a slideshow and you want to do like quick rapid fire photos, you just set all of the photos to one second. So this is how it'll play out. It'll, each photo will be just five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. That is all that you can do when it comes to photos. You can't stack two photos on top of each other. You can only just do one at a time. That's it. That's all you can do. This is a basic software that has basic functions. And then you can just give visual effects to each of the photos, like so, by just clicking on the photo and clicking the effect. There's nothing complicated there. You can also reverse it. That's all you can do. You can also adjust the brightness of a photo. That's it. That pretty much is all that you can do. And you can set animations for each of the transitions. So let's say you wanted a, a super cool transition like that. And then, then you go like this. So you set your effects, you set your transitions. Then that's it. That's mostly what you can do for photos. So that's all you can do basically in regards to transitions. And then you can title your video with a title. Sample title. And then you can set a fade for your title. You can also set the size of the text like this. And that's how you pretty much do it. Then you can set the duration of the text. So let's say it'll be like this. Then you just got a blank background after that. You can't drag it, but you can move it to another side. You can move it over here. But you can't drag it to adjust the length. You normally have to set the duration. So normally that's what you do for text. And then for animations, we've already gone through all that. You can set animations for your videos. And you can also edit the background. So let's go brown background. So we're just going to go back. And then you set it right like that. And then you can set your text there. And then if you want to go truly a lazy way, you can go credits. You can set the credits here. So Domingo Benjamin Aaron Rocky Dudley Fudge but Kane, something like that. And then you just go you just scroll back here. And then your credits will roll. 
And that, 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 that's pretty simple enough. And then once you have all of your stuff, you can just go auto movie. And then you can just go add a song at any time. So let's just say we're going to add Action Hero to it. So it automatically does the movie for you. So if you actually don't want to do anything, just click auto movie and it'll add the music for you. Take a look at this. It automatically sets the duration, it automatically sets the title, it automatically puts the music in, it automatically does the effects and transitions, it automatically does everything. And then there's an audio mixer where you can just mix the video only and then have the audio outweigh everything. So you can also sit in the middle for a happy medium. Then you can adjust the volume, then you can just go fit to music to fit to the music, and then you can select all, and then you can just rotate each of the clips a certain degree. And then you can just go YouTube to share it on YouTube. You can go through the high definition format. You can render in high definition. It just depends on how long your movie is. If your movie is, say, about seven minutes long, it'll render in a high resolution format, but it'll take up the most space on your computer. So be ready to have a lot of space and save it. And you can also burn it on a DVD. Now, let's say you're doing a collage of anime pictures you can just go back to the steps on how to import your pictures and import your music so it's basically the same it's just like adding videos and photos you just go to add music and then you go add music to a current point so let's say that you wanted to add a song about here so you go add music add music to current point then you select a song so then at that point it replaces the blank track up top with the song up there and then you can move the song anywhere you want and then you can also delete it from the timeline by just clicking on it and pressing delete so that is that's it that's all you can do you can just import videos import music import pictures and that's it and then you can just share it to various formats you can set it up with standard definition. You can save it onto, let's say, an iPod, and then you can email it up here. These are your sharing settings. And then you can add a plugin to download whatever plugins you want for the software. So essentially, that's all you can do in Windows Live Movie Maker. You can't really do anything else. You can't do 3D intros. You can't do animations with certain types of videos you can just create certain animation files with the end transitions and then that's it that's all we can do you can't really do anything else but the fact that you can have the videos up there that's all you can do pretty much i mean there's not really much else you can do on this software other than import pictures import videos import music do animations and transitions that's it it's not advanced like Sony Vegas with what I use. I use Sony Vegas tons. And that software is reliable. That software outweighs a lot. So that's, this is my final video about it. There's not really much to do. Everything's simple. You can add your captions. You can add your titles. I don't really need to do another tutorial on this because that's all it does. It's simple. It's basic. It's basic. So, until then, thanks very much for watching, and I'll respond to you another time. See ya.